Oh. You're like, you're not gonna show me? I'm gonna show you. Because you usually do. Hello everyone! Good morning, I had breakfast so I function a little bit better today. This vlog, I don't know, this vlog is a mix, I don't know. I'll have to edit this vlog and it's gonna give me a headache. Today is a Wednesday, normal day in my life. I have four lessons, that's why I decided to vlog today. So maybe it's not a normal, normal day in my life, but still. Good thing is that I'll have a lesson in 30 minutes and then I have a big, big break until 4 p.m. Since my Wednesday is usually like this, Brian and I have been going out a little bit to work. Like, you know, a lesson prep, editing, stuff, blah, 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 at a cafe. So I hope we'll do the same thing today. Last weekend, Actually, I haven't been vlogging the whole day lately. I don't know why, but I have a lot of footage and I need to give it a sense. One cool thing we did last week is we visited... Look what it is. A cliff for you? Yep, another cliff. I'll hold you back. Cliff here, a cliff there, a cliff there. Really, guys, Malta is a dangerous place. As I was saying, since a lot of you guys told us to go there, we visited St. John's Co Cathedral. I mean, we would have gone there anyways, but it was beautiful, very beautiful, and we were able to enjoy Caravaggio's paintings, so powerful. The only thing I didn't like is that it was kind of expensive and it was a church. I don't know, I'm used to churches in Rome being free, so that's maybe the only thing I'd tell Malta that was a little expensive. I want to show our followers that you're actually a man of art. Did you enjoy St. John's Church? Yes. Which part? All of it, but I liked Caravaggio. It just struck me the most artistically. Sometimes when you look at art, sometimes something gets to you, sometimes yes. it doesn't. It's got to me the most. I like it, I like it. I want to actually look that up on my phone, like the beheading of St. Paul. Or was it St. John? For lunch, we had focaccia and I had a fish soup. And guys, let me tell you, they know how to make bread here in Malta. I complain about bread usually when I go abroad, being Italian, but in Malta, they know how to bake. Also, because I know you follow me on Italian time as well, and I often complain about finding vegetables in Malta, we were able to find fresh fruit and vegetables, so mission accomplished. So we did that. Two weeks ago, we went to Gozo for one day. Since we're staying one more month, I want to wait, and I want to go back there when it's like sunny and a little bit warmer. Apparently, this weekend is supposed to rain. Good morning! It's like 9.30 a.m. We're in Siema. Today we're going on a like a little cruise of the two little islands of Malta, Gozo and Camino. We're getting to the boat. We don't know how big our boat will be, but I'm hoping it's small. Since we read that going around in Gozo without a car is a little bit difficult, we booked a bus tour. It was a four hour bus tour, pretty much. Okay, we just crossed the whole, whole, whole. Sorry. <laughs> we just crossed the whole island and it took us like 20 minutes to cross the island by car. So it's small. Apparently, there was like a famous, what's it called? The Game Rock. Of Thrones. No, the Rock Window. I don't know. The, there was like a rock thing with an opening, but it fell four years ago. But we're still here to see what's left, I don't know. I was saying, I've been wanting to tell you, but I don't know why. One cool thing about me, I don't get seasick. I actually love it. I love the sea motion. I don't get seasick ever. Like I can even eat on a small boat when it's like super windy and there are waves. But this is interesting. I get sick when I come back, when I'm on land. Like for example, if I'm on a boat for two or three or 10 days, I'm okay. But the moment I leave the boat, I feel sick. Is it just me? <laughs> because people always tell me it's just me. Right? Where is he going? He's not even waiting for me. 
Guys, the sun is striking down on us. I had to take my hoodie off. I rolled up my sleeves, I'm still hot. Sonia, are you cold? Are you hot? I'm good. <laughs> She's wearing like four layers and a coat. And it's like, look, I mean, just look at this. Like, okay. <laughs> That's exactly where that thing fell. If I found a picture, I'll post it. It's so sad. It was right here. It's like I'm thinking when the Notre Dame thing happened a couple of years ago. I cried. I was teaching and when my lesson ended and Brian was like, Sonia, Notre Dame is burning. I was like, oh, and I actually started crying. I, I don't know. I care about these things. I don't know. I do. I'm gonna be hungry after this. Are you gonna binge that? Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch my food. Okay, even now, I'm not sick, but now that I'm sitting, I can still feel like I'm on a boat. Like, I feel it. The longer I'm on a boat, the longer I feel this. Like, even for days sometimes. That's crazy. <laughs> I just want to say it's Wednesday, so we went to Comino on Saturday. Still, when I sit down and try to teach, no. I'm on a boat. No, no, yes, no. yes. I'm telling you, I have this, like, it's really strong. Can I just say something random, but I know that the ladies will appreciate? In Malta, there are a lot of public toilets and they're clean. It's one of my favorite things about Japan, so I really appreciate it. Get seasick? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm terrible at a lot of it. <laughs> no, it's cute. All right. Usually, I'm not a beach or sea girl, but if the weather was fine, I would go in the water here. Yeah, me too. It's on that Costa Esmeralda level, really. Oh my god, there are people in the water. You see them? They're crazy. Comino was so beautiful. I definitely want to go back there. They were saying that we were lucky because usually it's full of tourists and this was as empty as it gets. Now I'm just going to check my students' homework. Guys, it takes time to check students' homework. So if I say that I have four lessons a day, it's probably gonna be six at least. Small accomplishment for my little baby boy. What happened? Share your um, happiness with the world. Today I got my new highest ever rating of chess and it's 1936. If you don't know guys, pretty high. Only 2% of players are higher. Like I took this break right here and I was way down at 1755. This was my month of no internet. And then I shot up to my highest ever right after that break. So. Well, I just want to say that this happens with languages as well. It's like your brain gathers a lot of information and then sometimes you feel like you're stuck and it's frustrating. And so you take a little break and then somehow <coughs> it clicks. And, and you improve. My goal for years has been 2000 and I'm 1936 right now, so... I'm going to do my Instagram quiz. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I have English quizzes every day. But I mean, it's your choice. I won't get offended. Since we didn't have lessons in the morning, Brian and I decided to go work at a cafe. We love to do that when we can leave the house, it makes us feel good. We're going to our favorite work cafe in Valletta. The weather is not perfect, it's not bad, but last week it was so nice. Last Saturday I went to Sliema, the weather was so nice. So today it's a Saturday and Brent and I are having a strategic explore by yourself day. This is our apartment and I feel like we need some alone time. So today we decided to explore by ourselves. So I don't think I'm gonna vlog the whole day because am I entertaining enough for you guys just by myself the whole day? I'm not sure. And girls, this is why for me it's extremely, extremely important to travel to fairly safe places like Malta is pretty safe Japan super safe Taiwan safe like maybe I'm a little bit anxious but I personally don't feel comfortable walking around by myself even if it's like during the day if the place is a little bit sketchy
This is beautiful. I really see why people like to live near the sea. You don't need much. You need a beautiful sunny day and <laughs> just go out of the house and your day is pretty much a beautiful day. I even came across a full, real, full-size shopping mall in Malta. And it was nice to go window shopping without my husband. I ended up not buying anything at the mall, but not because I didn't like anything. I actually liked everything. <laughs> this year's fashion is so cute with all the little colors like pink and green and blue. It's just, you know, priorities, Sonia, priorities. You wanna travel? Yes, that's my priority. You wanna eat good food? Yes, that's my priority. Could I afford buying some new clothes? Yes. Is that my priority right now? No. Goodbye. <laughs> this year's fashion is so cute. All right, that's it. Okay, back to the main vlog. Today, this vlog, <laughs> we went to our favorite cafe, we worked, we edited, Brian prepared his lessons, we had coffee cappuccino, and then look at this. Look at it really well. Okay, back to me. I bought that notebook, I couldn't resist. I love stationery. I'm like a kid. Like if I see a cute, cute notebook, I love the feeling of buying it, opening it, first time I write on it, like, ah, so nice. We had lunch at a vegan restaurant. This restaurant has become Brian's favorite restaurant in Malta. Who would have thought? And then we went back home because I had evening lessons. Okay, people, it's almost 4 p.m. And so I'm gonna be busy until 8.30. And then tonight's gonna be a different night because usually I cook, I have dinner with Brian, we watch something. We've been watching Age of Samurai. But tonight I am having a Skype call with my girls So I'm gonna cook something real quick and like eat in front of the computer Chat, gossip Why am I moving like this? I obviously forgot to end the vlog yesterday <laughs> So today is just another normal day in my life Also, if I always wear the same clothes It's not because I'm not a good influencer it's because I um, could only bring a few pieces of clothing to my suitcase And because in Sliema I didn't buy anything Thank you guys for watching as always and I'll see you next time Looks like Sonia has a new facial expression Even though her meal is finished She's angry I won't be defeated I'm gonna eat you might want to say that again. Your teeth have chocolate on them. I realized that if I'm seated and I have food and it's not cold, I'm happy usually. Happiness. There's something here.